Hey, how you doing? This is Frank from the Skunk Works. So uh, today I had a lot of questions, a lot of comments. People actually want to see the box. They want to know what's going on. They want to see what type of system it has set up. So I'm going to tell you. Here's the fuel flex kit. This is how it comes when you ship it. There's actually three different boxes. You can get a nice aluminum box, shiny. Uh, there's another box that's an, uh, another type of aluminum box with just a uh, neural uh, faceplate. Is this is how the fuel flex kit works. Take the four screws off on the cap, take it off. Inside is basically like a little iPhone. It's a little computer system. It's actually a computer. Let me get this. Uh, I'm not good with film and stuff. <laughs> so there's a parameter meter, so you can adjust how much fuel consumption. You want to put in. So if you want to burn, if you're running currently gasoline with 10% or 20%, you can adjust that way. And then how you adjust is you wait for the lean code to come on, and then you just adjust more fuel. Basically, I do all the converting myself. There's lights in there for codes. So if something happens, I know that there's a yellow light, so I know how to deal with that situation. The red light, I know how to deal with that situation. Currently, one that's in my car, in the bullet, has not had any problems whatsoever. And I don't know if somebody who actually has a problem. So it's got like a little microprocessor down here, across. It's got a motherboard all wired in. It's hot synced. It's all soldered properly. It's all, it's not made by somebody in their backyard. Uh, this is actually uh, processed in a facility. And uh, so that's that's the inside of the box. So you have your you, you could actually adjust what you want to do here. Currently, mine is set at six. It's supposed to be set at eight point five because the percentage of alcohol. But I'm actually saving myself another percent range, preferably about maybe I'd say fifteen twenty percent. Okay, and I don't have any lean codes. All right. So then, with the cap on, right? Caps on. Okay, this is the wiring harness. Now the V8, you're gonna have four of these. It's basically two. It's basic. This box is basically four cylinders on one side, another four cylinders on the other side. Hot sink. A six cylinder, six and six put together. I mean three and three put together. It's it's actually processed properly. Really good. And uh, especially, I won't put this stuff in my car if. Uh, if I if I didn't like the device and this was the best one that I found and I ended up doing what I'm doing today. So okay. So your original injector is going to be sitting on your injector port, okay? You take that out and you plug it into the female section here. See that? See the female? Plug it in there. Take this, you plug this in. This is your E V six or this is you know the the new injector plug. You plug that in. At that point, your injector is now converted over. Now it's going to, the original signal is going to come in and it's going to shoot out the other signal. Basically, it intercepts the signal, opens it up for a millisecond long, changes the polarity. So, there's a lot more to it, but, uh, so it changes and gives you that extra percentage of fuel that you need because gasoline is heavy and its density is heavier than alcohol. Alcohol is actually thinner. And it's a clean age. But I can tell you, after running my car, after a trip that I did down from uh, Connecticut down to Florida, I tell you, my car's never ran this, this nice at all. So, and I like it. I actually, this car, my car, is a race car. I use, currently use this device to race my car. Alright? So you can kind of figure that out. Now this is, this is another pointer with the system. Like I was saying in the beginning, most flex kits have a red lead wire and a ground wire. Hooks up to your, your 12 volt power. Now, if anybody knows, sometimes you can get extra juice or the alternator might be charging a little faster and uh, it could get a higher signal. And uh, it could fry out your injectors by using a 12-volt system. Well, this system actually right here is the top of the line. 
And this is what I like about it. What it actually does is it uses your power from the injectors, your three volts from the injectors. And then that's how the processor processes itself. That's where it gets its, its voltage. And then the so the red wire is the hot lead, and then the other one is the pulse polarity uh, wire. And what that does, the polarity, what a lot of people misnomers say, you know, what's the white wire, what's the, polar, what's the polarity, that's the polarity, that's the polarity. Well, all that is is it's telling the, the needle to move back and forth. It's basically like a, uh, it's like a spray bottle, okay? I could sit here and go like this, all right? Basically, what you're doing with gasoline, all right, is it's going like this. One, all right, well, this thing right here is the polarity thing. It's, it's actually spitting out more fuel into the engine, and that's how it works there. And um, that's basically how the system works. It's basically faultless. And uh, if, if some most systems, if they fail, you have no clue until your car blows up. This device, it will actually shut itself down and shut the car off. The car will actually turn off because of the, it, the injectors will cut it, it, the red light or the yellow lights that are inside of the LEDs. It's a, it's a fault system. It will actually stop the injectors from, from doing what they're doing. And that sends the signal to the ECU to stop. All right. So it's basically like the top up the line. And it's currently, I mean, it's, these things are selling for almost what the other EV5 conversion kits go. So I would get yours today and before they raise the prices up. Because if fuel starts going crazy and people start going stir crazy, these things are going to sell. Um, you can currently make it in your in your in your laundry room. It's that simple. Go below and you'll see the you'll see Anthony uh, from Renee Distillers right below. He's showing you how to do it. Um, I work I work with him. You know I I, I help him. I, I give him videos of my race car. Um, that car is raced in Jupiter, Florida, down at the West Palm uh, drag strip and uh, the road course. So it's a, it's actually a race car, and that's that's the pinnacle. It's not a uh, street car, okay? I mean, it, it is a street car, but it, it's a race car. It has a special filtration system built into it, which is just a one micron filtration uh, Canton Racing snap plug uh, fuel filter, and it's got a Canton Racing. Uh, uh, oil filter has eight microns of filtration, which allows more oil to penetrate through and, uh, lubric for lubrication. So they run Lucas, uh, the synthetic blend in there. Um, also it has MSD coils and it has racing spark plugs. It's a basic race car, but it's a race car that has this in it. You see what I'm saying? I didn't change any injectors. I didn't change any gas pumps. I didn't change any of this. I didn't spend three thousand dollars to get my Nokia off. I actually just converted the car over simply, easily. That's it. So stay tuned. I'm actually uh, editing most of my videos at the racetrack because I have to watch what what type of people are involved there, and I don't want to overdo it. And uh, sponsorships, um, I currently don't have a lot of sponsors. I would like to pick a few up. So I got to kind of edit out the stuff. But keep your view below. Get your fuel flex kit. Get off foreign oil. And let's help to prevent this thing right here from happening again. Okay? That's all I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Call me up anytime.